How strong is a healthy Itachi? In Naruto and pretty much every other shonen anime, they all seem to nerf unbeatable or extremely strong characters, simply because a character would be too impossible to deal with. Now I instantly think of people like Itachi, dude was dying of Shonen 19, an uncurable disease that plagues all the badasses in Shonen. It's a damn tragedy. For this video, we're gonna figure out how strong Itachi would have been if he was never sick. But before we get into the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Over 70% of the people watching aren't subscribed this displeases me change this so we can make bad what I mean to say is your interaction with the channel helps me know what content you guys want to see and if you're on TikTok, come on over to the YouTube channel where we have full videos and exclusive content link in the bio the main way we can get an understanding of how strong he would be would be to analyze when he was reanimated no longer hindered by his illness and seemingly having infinite chakra reserve with this we'll be able to see where he would be if he was alive and healthy when Orochimaru brought back the four Kage Toburama stated that Orochimaru made a mistake. This time he was brought back almost at full power. Now at this point of the story, Kabuto should overall be better than Orochimaru with him becoming a perfect sage, doing something that Orochimaru couldn't. Same could be said about his reanimation. He was able to control a lot more bodies and at a ridiculous range. When he was talking to Madara, he said that his Edo was different. He said that he would be even stronger than when he was alive, reviving him in his physical prime and with the Rinnegan. I think this was untrue. Hashirama definitely didn't want Madara to come back to life and we all know know what happens as soon as he did. Absolute slaughter show. I think the thing about Edo Tensei is you'll never be as strong as you were when you were alive, meaning that Itachi was also nearly at full strength. What I'm saying is, neither Kabuto or Orochimaru reanimated anyone with their original power. Now in Itachi's Edo form, he was able to beat Nagato, Kabuto, and trade blows with KCM Naruto and B. Let's go over these. Itachi's main strength is his analytical prowess and insight, always being able to find the Jutsu's weakness, which is why they were able to destroy the planetary devastation that Nagato launched. Also, he was able to catch Nagato slipping by blinding all of his summons and cutting off his arms. The man caught him off guard with the Totsuka blade, which is ultimately what put him down. I can't admit that Nagato probably wasn't using his best moves since Kabuto was controlling him, but it still stands. Now with Naruto, he was able to keep up with his combat speed, even though he was in KCM mode. Keep note that they were talking, but Itachi was also telling them where he would strike, so take that as you will. He also broke free of Kabuto's control, like even before the crow. He had to summon the crow to do this. This is what effectively made him a good guy, defeating Kabuto with Izanami. Again, I can recognize the Izanami's bullshit, but it just comes to show that Itachi had an answer for everything. This is why people say he would beat Madara. Now, I don't know about Madara personally, but I do think he'd be the strongest strongest member in the Akatsuki if he was healthy. And if he had EMS, the war would have never started. But hey, that's just a theory, again. If you liked the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We post content daily. Also, comment down below if you think Itachi would be the strongest Akatsuki member if he was alive. Tell us in the Discord, tell us right now. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Karma out.